Have you ever considered that even in the midst of a global pandemic, you could walk into Kroger or Fresh Time and find fresh produce? How does it get there? The reason we are able to put healthy produce on our tables for our families is because of one thing, migrant farm workers. Each year, thousands of migrant farm workers come to the U.S. to provide the backbreaking labor that no one else wants to. And despite providing such a valued service, they go largely unrewarded for it. Over 80% of migrant farm workers live below the federal poverty line, and infectious diseases run rampant among them, as they are forced to live in tight quarters with questionable access to clean water and sanitary services. What's more is that it's very difficult for migrant farm workers to access health care, as medical translation services are few and far between, and the vast majority of workers are uninsured and without the resources to pay for care. My organization, the Migrant Farm Worker Health Initiative, MFHI for short, is a new Indiana-based nonprofit seeking 501c3 status. We will try to solve this problem by providing free mobile health care to migrant farm workers in Indiana. We have developed a unique model to keep costs low and ensure that donations help workers as much as possible. First, we recruit volunteer physicians who specialize in primary care from local hospitals like Parkview and Lutheran. With over 400 primary care docs in Fort Wayne and their inclination towards charitable causes, we have found it easy to find interested physicians. We also recruit medical interpreters who are fluent in both English and Spanish from local colleges and from the greater Hispanic Fort Wayne community. Then we train our volunteers so that they understand how to provide care in a culturally appropriate manner. This is a crucial step as understanding how our cultures may differ can be the make it or break it moment in healthcare. Next, we find partner farms that hire migrants and share our mission with them, hoping to form lasting partnerships. Finally, we travel to our partner farms, bringing medical equipment, doctors, and interpreters with us to provide care to the migrants who are employed there and to offer education about disease prevention and living a healthy lifestyle. Over the past few years, I've seen how much Fort Wayne cares about people in our community. Migrant farm workers are, despite providing us with such a critical service, one of the most marginalized groups in our country. This is our chance as a city and as a community to give back to the workers who give us fresh food every day, who allow us to feed our families. If no one else will step up to help these workers, I know that we, Fort Wayne, will. Fort Wayne soup funds will be used to purchase expensive yet ever important medical equipment that migrant farm workers may have never used in their entire lives. Using this equipment, we will be able to detect diseases that can be controlled as soon as they are diagnosed. With your funding, we can provide health care to workers who may have not received any in years, if not in their entire lifetime. Please consider voting for the Migrant Farm Worker Health Initiative and making a difference in the lives of the thousands of migrant farm workers who come here each year, not only to feed their families, but to feed ours as well. Thank you.